Are we done? Okay, let's go. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, here we go again. No, not now! Not here! Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back lifted with very us, soon. Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but... Ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> My Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna, member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done Stand with down, it. lady! Then such an off can turn everyone into mindless meatbags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest of Bye the world. I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? 
You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. Show me what's now in that you're arsenal of Sonny. Saving data. Honey, I am extremely worried about you. I think you may be in danger. What do you mean? The break room isn't safe anymore. No, handsome. My room will always be safe for you. I won't let anyone in, as long as you're here. And where is this threat coming from? Your glove! It is manipulating you! Take it off before it's too late, and we'll be together till death do us part. Oh, man. I'm sick of you going on about the glove. But I'm right, darling. Yeah, yeah, you just want to murder me. Not gonna happen. How could you even think that, sugar? I only kill pathetic, horny little pipsqueaks who try to enter me when all I want is you. How many times do I have to tell you to stop killing people? But that's beyond me, sugar. I can't help myself. Then you'll have to deal with the glove until you can. You should forbid her from telling you to remove the glove. You see? He is turning you against me. Oh, sneaky manipulator. Darling, take off the disgusting thing right now. Listen, can you spare me your maniacal ramblings? This place has already gone to hell. Whatever you say, master. Just enter me often and keep punishing me. Come on, Sergei. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach Sechenov before Collective is updated and it is too late to change anything, in case you don't like his answers. Is that left or right? Yeah. Yeah. Same difference. You have no idea how right you are. Stay. 
dance with you. Project, approved by the Secret Congress of the CPSU Central Committee on February 14, 1951. The goal is the suppression of the United States of America, change of political regime, abolition of capitalism, establishment of communism, establishing social and moral ideals consistent with the beliefs of a Soviet person. The method of execution is the seizure of the strategic and military facilities followed by disconnection and shutdown of nuclear power plants. Effective deactivation of the Atomic Heart of America, complete surrender of the government, and the transfer of power to the top leadership of the USSR. So how are they gonna pull that off? Well, Sergei, first they sell robots, then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power. At full speed, the GMC-69 geodesic monocycle's wheels can slice a man's body in half. The standard loadout includes a 7.62mm machine gun that can be replaced with a flamethrower or laser gun. This robot's extremities are made out of PTA-4 for improved human spine-breaking performance. Six Natasha heavy duty ground based loader bot can squeeze up to five liters of blood from a human body in under 20 seconds. I bet it'll be like how people control these monsters with that fucking gizmo there, the thought controller. As I said earlier, thought is nothing but a trinket, a fake. The primary connector is the jelly man, the neuropolymer, and only Sechenov has access to it. Only the jelly man, the massive data array can resonate with all polymerized objects and control them. And believe me, Comrade Major, a tremendous amount of polymer has been spread throughout the world over the last few years. Every machine and every human being on Earth will become part of Collective. Designed as a mobile healthcare unit, the dock cannot replace a medic or paramedic, but it is quite adept at performing autopsies, especially if the patient is still alive. The Bumblebee has a silent mode for infiltrating enemy lines and gathering intelligence. Acting as an exoskeleton for a plush-based neuropolymer creature, the Dewdrop is a highly capable combat unit 
whose laser beam's penetration rate for human flesh is a staggering 0.15 seconds. So, to make a long story short, Sechenov is in charge of this polymer thingy, this jelly man, and the jelly man is gonna be in charge of everything that becomes part of the network. Indeed. Sounds like freaking black magic or something. The polymers have not been fully studied, nor has Collective. It is entirely possible that humans have created something greater than themselves. In fact, the electronic messages you have been reading at the pair terminals may very well have been specially selected for you by the neural network, or even created. We simply don't know, Major. I don't like the sound of that. It's no worse than a single man's drive to control more lives than just his own. The hauler is capable of detaining intruders with a special clamp. It is programmed to keep the subject pinned to the ground while awaiting a human rapid response team, or terminate it if none is coming. The ideal anti-personnel operator, programmed with advanced melee techniques, prioritizing breaking victims' necks to ensure zero survivability. A light reconnaissance drone, a group of owls can lift an enemy off the ground and drop it from a lethal height. Listen, this is fucking bonkers. Sechenov wants to take over the world and blow up America. Not blow it up, just deprive it of electricity. Weren't you listening? If you still have doubts after the Academy, what I've told you and everything you've seen around you, let's just do what we came here to do. Look your former boss in the eye and ask him. The MFU-68 laborer is heavily represented among the robotic staff of prisons, where it carries out patrol duties. Designed as a freight drone, the DROFA also doubles as a punitive expedition unit. Its unique Archimedes screw rotors can chop a human body into bits as efficiently as an industrial-grade meat grinder. Desired procedure. Boss? Pretet. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cherith, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me! I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. It wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both. Then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. 
And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. actual living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. These are cold hard facts, Spuget. <laughs> Stop messing with my head. So one of these robots is Ekaterina Nechaiva, the wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They both are. I tried to bring Glessner back to life when her brain was literally ripped in half. who are still alive. Couldn't you just leave the dead in peace? That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you are acting in my best interest. Why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call off the twins and just talk to me. Forgive me, but right now they're fighting
You lousy you piece don't of understand. shit. Sheridan's manipulating you. He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Falatova? <laughs> did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> You motherfucker, this whole time! I've been uh, uh, enough of you, Major. Uh, Your job is done. Uh, uh. P3, my boy! Get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside and make way for the next phase of its evolution. to humanity and collective you should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it evil is an abstract concept and your thinking is limited you are a human a species that will soon be extinct I realized when I stopped being human myself your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the Massive Array. No. No. Don't, Charity. No. no. I The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished.
That one thing you can't deny 